calls himself king just because he was poor. up shadow oh. hopefully you can hear me I have my mic on but I don't know if you can hear me or not let me know if you can hear me I really hope so awesome great wasn't sure if my microphone on the camera was working I'm not streaming through PC it's just straight camera I gotta find a way so I can have chat on all the time. 
Hmm. Probably do it through Twitch. to mute this crap. Alright. Alright, here's what I got. PC works. Yeah, it's it's not looking nice. It's nice. It's smooth. The reason I got this, um, opposed to anything else, is this this port right here on top. If you see it, if you can see it, this is a hot switch. This is a hot swap uh, bay area, and I love hot swaps, man. I don't know why. I have it on my other PC case, which works fine now. I don't know what happened. Um, it wanted to play games I guess um, but that that's the reason I looked at some other cases you know and they looked all right but this one so you just plug in any hard drive you just plug it in there you don't have to have any uh, you know uh, SATA things it's already connected all you do is just stick it in there and it just bam activates it's, it works as a hot swap um, uh, or it just works as a, you know, like a USB plug-in, right? Like the way you plug in USBs. But this one, you don't even have to disconnect. You just, like, through software, you just, whenever you're done with it, just unplug it or, you know, take it out and you're done. It's a hot swap. You could plug in, you know, as many drives as you want or not as many, sorry, you know, whichever one you want. I have a lot of hard drives with a lot of information on them. Um, I haven't had the time to consolidate anything. And I finally got, like, a few SSDs that are, you know, terabytes here and there. So I could finally start putting things together. Let's open this baby up. See, Liam Chato's on right now. He's, uh, he's chatting with me. Chato is chatting. How do you feel about that? Nice. Nice. He's one of my main men. He's one of your main men? You heard that, Chato? Uh, no, it's not. I am fully zoomed out right now. Um, I might be able to raise the camera, though. You're going to hear some noise. stable enough to hold and hopefully not fall down. Oof. How's that? Is that a little better? I think the next step is to put a fish eye on it, but yeah, if that's better. like an accident waiting to happen all these cords and crap I'm gonna trip over one things are gonna come falling down well, that thing is huge. isn't this thing huge yeah. this thing is way bigger than my other case way bigger so much more room Oh, I can see. 
you have a huge case. Nice. This thing is massive, way bigger than my other one. Cool. You'll put that thing on my... I mean, not way bigger, but, uh, I don't know. Bigger. It's bigger. So... It's a, yeah, yeah, it's bigger, it's taller. Definitely taller. First thing I want to do is inspect it because uh, this case that I got, this other one you'll see. Um, yeah, this is pretty sweet. It looks small, but I mean it's up to my knee. So, and I'm I'm five eleven, so you could probably I don't know try gauging the height from there. Okay, this is oh crap, broke it. So do not lift by that. Check out this big old fan, man. Maybe you tried to put it back. Here's the air filter. That's kind of hard to get out, actually. I wonder why it's so difficult. Air filter, real nice, or dust filter, I guess. Hair filter. Goes right on top. Look at that fan. It's giant. That is a big old fan. I hope it's quiet. It looks like it might be, might be one of those quiet fans. So here's your hot swap right here. Two little slots, one for the smaller ones, one for the big ones. Oh man, this thing is sweet. There it is. You just plop it right in there. All the all the connections are already in there. You just bam -de bam Nice power button reset here. Uh, you can control the fans apparently here. Nice. Here's the back end. That looks like pretty good so far. A roach filter, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got your general um, inputs, you know. Um, I think it's as much as mine. I got the two 3.0s and the 2.0s on each side along with audio and whatnot. So um, I was talking about my other case, and when it came, one of the plates what, where the, uh, um, one of the plates that the motherboard sits on was um, incorrectly put on. It was like misaligned, and it was popped out over a certain peg. And so my motherboard kept getting, it was really weird and crooked, and I was like, what the hell is going on? So I inspected it more. And when I pop that thing um, over a rivet, I'd have to show it to you when I tear it apart. It started, uh, you know, aligned perfectly. Um, I think this ran me about a hundred bucks. Uh, it was a little pricier, um, but um, I was willing to pay that for the hot swap. The hot swap is amazing. You guys have no idea how amazing that feature is until you have it. Like you don't. You don't even, you don't even know, man. Oh! What's this? A little secret compartment. Look at that. Another filter, another roach filter here. With the fan. What the heck? Do we have, oh, this is nice. This is way better than my other one. This you just, I mean, I'll never use any of these because I, I, I don't even, I think I have a, a CD drive. That's the only thing I might use. I don't even think I have that anymore because who needs CDs, right? Yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is great. So thermal take, thermal take. 
uh, Technology, 2013. I sp yeah, I specifically looked for a heart or a, um, a case with, with a hot swap. And um, the one that I have now, they don't make them anymore. They don't, it's just the, the company, I guess, doesn't exist or something. I don't know. But it's no longer there. But this is sweet as hell, man. Okay. Well, this is instructions. So, whatever. I think there's like multiple options of the side panel. You could get glass or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I tore the other PC, my other case apart, dude, yeah, it's pretty gross. I gotta clean that out. Oh, this is a uh, no lose bolt or screws. So you just um, you just loosen it up and that's it. Nothing else, nothing to it. Oh. So this is new to me. Um, there is no this is plastic, um, but there is no side fans. That's really new to me. I've I've never seen that. Yeah, look at that. The screws don't come off, so you'll never lose them. You know how you always, like, lose screws and crap? Yeah, they just, they're, they're partially, um, I mean, you could take them out, but they, they're, uh, they're sawed down a little bit. That's really great. We've got a little extra hard drive here. No, we don't wires and crap. What is this? We got some We got some mini anal beads. Yeah, baby. Be taking up this. Yeah. Anybody get a mouse? Okay, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Don't you worry about it, son. speaker connector already got one so I don't really need it zip ties I like these I like these little guys with these nose oh, just dropped something oh kind of need these these are these are the motherboard spacers kind of would like to have those kind of Um, here's a uh, air for bike tire, those little air caps. There's one. Cool. I don't know what for, what it's for, but it's there. Nice. Um, looks like there's only one motherboard spacer. That's weird. Maybe it's for an M2. we got yeah seriously it's uh, annoying and then you find them a month later or like I'll drop them and lose them forever and then find them a long time from now what is this you guys should read the instructions whatever another one of these uh, Have you ever seen these brackets? Maybe it says down on, on one of them, both of them. I'll just leave them to the side there. Okay. Already comes uh, wired nicely from the back there. That's kind of nice. That's great. I like that.
here are the quick the quick slots oh this and I, and the bolts came for the hard drive so that's really that's really great um, I'm gonna like that and here's the quick CD slash whatever things cables for the well you know you know the you know the gist of it right right okay I'm gonna put this aside and uh, let's start tearing down my old PC right Liam yeah I mean there's sometimes I, I read it sometimes I don't I think this is for a hard drive but I, I maybe it's not I don't know what it's for um, looks different um, this is an ATX this I think this is an extended ATX case and I'm glad you guys could look at this while I talk this is fantastic let me get down here by the way this thing rocks it rocks so much socks even though it came busted it it was amazing it works um, phenomenally well when I turned it on I don't even notice it um, I still don't oh there it is I you know the, the scrape is barely there um, it's it's amazing it's an amazing piece of technology I love it yeah I think I built mine in 2015 as well right when we moved into this house yeah it must have been 2015 I want to say what world are you doing? me mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking the PC parts from there and putting them into here that's my new case. That's my new computer. He didn't know what I was doing this whole time? You thought I was just opening up a computer case? So this case is much like the other one as, as uh, um, this clips out too. I have a fan down here and I, I have a fan down at the bottom too. Um, I cleaned it out so it's not as dirty, but I'm not a fan. It's a filter. What, what the hell am I talking about? So the hot swap on this one is right here and it gets pretty dusty. I don't know if you could see it. Um, I'm not even going to touch that because I'm pretty sure it's going to fall over if I start zooming in but um, right there you can see the hot swap and so this button right here it you it wasn't working you have to press it halfway for it to start like to actually turn on um, but now it works for some reason but I had manual controls on the fans essentially the same the same crap as the other you know thing but um, the hot swap was the selling point for me I lost whatever this little place was I lost the filler for it I don't know where it went so let's tear it apart there it goes what it just fell apart Go. Little toe. You guys get to see the insides. Aren't you thrilled? 
Man, it is like 100 degrees in here. I gotta open this window up. Get my warmth on. And I, I spent like, I want to say, all of whenever I whenever I redid this, I spent so much time cable managing and tucking everything away, and uh, and then I was like, well, that's probably not going to work, and then it ended up working. So it's kind of funny, but now I got to do it all over again. Whatever. <laughs> See, look how good it looks. Looks so nice in there. Pristine. Should I zoom in a bit? What do you think? zoom into this kind of area. Yeah, it takes a while. Um, like sometimes, because everything, all the capacitors need to charge up. Um, so what I've noticed is you plug everything in and push the power button too fast, it doesn't start. And you're like, what the hell? Um, but it just it, it just needs to run the power through all the capacitors, get them going, all that stuff. So you, like, you have to wait, you know, maybe 30 seconds or something. Yeah, this is, I don't see this um, taking too long. As far as the building goes, um, I do want to cable manage considerably. So that might be the only part that takes kind of a while. And I like to run everything through first and then and then plug in the big stuff this little guy here whoop, right here this is my um, audio input for firewire and it's it's the reason that you can hear me through the mic when I have my mic it plugs directly into my mixer this is like if you want to have immediate response time on music or anything like that, get a FireWire type uh, mixer board. I have a Mackie i 1260, I believe it's called. It's the 12 channel. I don't think they make them anymore. They make only the 16 version, the 16 channel version. Um, I don't know why. Probably because of sales. I really don't know. But I love my board. I love it a lot. It's done me good. Here's my 970. Ooh. 
still in great condition because, you know, it's not like it goes anywhere. Here's my capture card. Simple. All it, it's for the camera, the video camera that you're watching this through. Um, literally one purpose. That's it. This is the 1070 MSI brand. So I got a question, Chateau. Um, I have my my power supply, my PSU here, and I put it in with the fan pointing down. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to put it down, pointing down, or pointing up. I know that I I feel like it should be down, so dust and crap settles down and you know gets out of there. Um, and there's enough space between uh, the bottom and the top of the. Um, uh, PC to get airflow going, but I, I had it the other way around, and I noticed I kept dropping screws in there, you know, and and just all sorts of junk. So, yeah, down. All right, yeah. So I replace. I have it down now, um, but it just it's kind of a weird. The screws don't really work well with it when it's down. I don't know what to do with the old case though, because it's it's still a really good case. You know, I just uh, I don't know what to do with it. Sell it on eBay, I guess. I don't know. You know. doesn't come with good instructions. Um, I remember that being a part of uh, Take It Out Back. It's a good case. It works. It's just that power button is a little bit glitchy, you know. You just have to, you have to love it a certain way, I guess. Um, if, I had, if I had fixed it before, I, you know, if, if I had managed to fix it, I wouldn't have got this other case, to be honest. I don't remember how much this case cost me either. Look into that. So since it's, you know, limited edition, hard to find, 
good stuff, good features. I might, I might want to sell it on eBay. I don't know. I'll even save the box so I could ship it. And the styrofoam. This is my dusty CPU fan. It's it looks worse than it is if you look on the side. It's actually pretty clean in there. I guess this side. It's not bad. Um, I don't really want to take the fan off and vacuum it out. But this is the motherboard I have, the Asrock Asrock Fatality. Um, Killer 97, Z97, H97 Killer Series. Um, I really like it. It's good. It's a good motherboard. It served me well. Got some ballistics. Uh, eight gigs, I think, inside. Eight and eight. Um, that's it, though. You know, it's a, it's an ATX. It's not a full ATX. It's just short. Of a full ATX, not a true ATX, but uh, it's been a good PC, man. I got a Core i um, i7 97 uh, 70 or 90 or something. I think it's a 9790K in there. Um, I don't like to remove things and put them back on because it. I feel that the more movement you have. Um, on some on stuff like this, the more uh, damage you do eventually. So I'm going to put that up here. Uh, they, it comes with an explicit warning saying, do not ever put on carpet, directly on carpet. So uh, we shall not put it on carpet today. I think I had it on a carpet last time, but hey, whatever. Still works. That's the that's the thing. Still works. Carpet or no. So I like this PSU a lot um, because of the of this. Oop, this you could you could plug in whatever you want. You don't have to have all the cables hanging out. I have another one where all the cables are included, and it's just annoying because you can't remove any of them. So we'll be uh, cabling up, I think, maybe last. Yeah, I love modulars. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. 100%. Oh, backboard.
know what I should have done is I should have taken a photo of how everything was laid out. Now I don't remember. Crap. Maybe I could look at the beginning of the stream. Pretty sure I used the wrong screws for this. Oh well. <laughs> These are the right ones. They're so small. Definitely use the wrong screws on this one. I think these are like house screws or something. Oh no, they're not. They're regular. They are laptop screws, but they're like inset or something. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're motherboard screws. They happen to work. That's all I cared about. So this is all I have as far as hard drives go. The tiny guys, the three big, or the these are uh, high capacity, but you know, just tiny. These are both solid state. This is our, this is an actual hard drive. Um, but uh, yeah, this is all I do. This is this is how I do. And then the rest is all hot swap. So hot swap, hot swap. You know. I got a bunch, man. So my project is to go through them all and kind of consolidate all the data and information on them and probably just resell. Um, this one is uh, 750 gigs. Oh, this one's a tiny one. This is a 250 gig. Um, but I think this has got my operating system on it. Um, I need to label it somehow. I don't know. Maybe write it on. So I know. Um, this one needs to be, I think, in zero. Um, this position zero, say to zero. But I made a mistake. I don't know why I got a 250 gigabyte one because I should have got like a 500 for the operating system because it filled up almost immediately um, and this one is my big boy 
Uh, this is a terabyte right here. Yeah. Yeah, I got another, I got a two terabyte. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't know how big this one is. This is a fast RPM one. This is a 7200 RPM. Uh, oh, it's, no. I think this is a 500 gigabyte or 320, I don't know. Uh, see if you could read any of that. If it focuses. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. This is my big one. This is my 2000 gig, wherever it is, right up here. 2000, sorry, yeah, 2000 gigabytes, so two terabyte. Big boy. That's where all my movies are. That was a joke. Right, that's it. Let's get a, let's get it on. Get it on with the other one. <laughs> Anime movies. There's like a little clip here or something. I don't know what it's for. Maybe a couple of cables can go up. I don't know what it's. I don't know what it does. This is new to me. I don't. I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, this must be a lock so things don't shift around. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Oh, it is a lock. Yep, it says right there. Lock. <laughs> Great. We'll, we'll, we'll mess with that later. With that baby later. Baby later. I don't know what that's for. I don't know. 
What is this for? Table management? Before, whatever. Sticking my fingers in it? I don't know. Oh, as a bottom fan. That's perfect. Okay, okay. All right. That's for wires, but I don't know why would why would they come from inside to outside? Um, I that's it's odd. It's odd placement. I don't know what that's for. I like to save these because these can um, work as cable management things as well. So I, I like to save them. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. They uh, this SATA has a clip in it so it doesn't like you know pop off I like that a lot yes here's my 3.0 my audio USB one of the USBs and I believe that's all the buttons um, this is probably for the fans. It looks like it's for the fans. On the front, to be powered. Great, 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 great. Okay. Um, it gives you the option uh, if you want to power it manually or if you want the uh, computer to power it for you. Um, motherboard, that is. I don't know what I'll stick with. I don't know. Um, time to bust out that manual, huh? Maybe. Where'd that manual go? Oh, here. Oh. No, I don't know. I don't know what that's for. We'll see. It's all in Japanese. Most of it. Some of it. Oh, okay. So those brackets are for um, like a floppy drive reader. Again, I don't know if you could see that. Um, but it's for floppy drives, little tiny guys. So they're spacer brackets for that. Cool. I can deal with that. Hard drive, hot swap. They call it a docking station. Keyboard and mouse security lock usage. So you run the cord through this little, there's a little loop that you run a cord, the, both the cords through. So in case uh, you rage quit or something, you throw something and it doesn't get unplugged. Radiator installation. Okay. Leads. Yep. Yep. Got that. Literally all of it is the same. Yeah, I guess I guess it doesn't say anything about those um, the fans. Um, I'm assuming that they're just 
it's just there. You could um, you could you know either have it motherboard controlled or um, yourself controlled. Um, I think I want to have it on manual. So if in case I'm recording, it's making too much noise, I could just pump the fans down. Got to pump those numbers down. So because I don't have any kind of drives to put in here, like CD, well, I guess I could put in a CD, uh, Ron, but I don't, I don't care about it. I don't, I don't use it. Uh, to me, it's just more stuff I have to hook in, and I, I just don't want to, you know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not even going to deal with it. Um, this is a good spot for all the cables, too. You know, just put them all in there and shove them in there, and that's good, right? All right, let's put it in. Let's put this bad boy in. I was looking at a $600 motherboard today. Thanks, dude. I'm just spanking my butt. <laughs> um, it's a dual uh, processor motherboard. Yeah, um, it's an Asus. Uh, it's performance, man. It's super performance. It's got four... Um, four uh, uh, PCIe slots um, and then four more PCI slots on top of that. It's just a massive board. They were advertising it as a... Uh, uh, developer's computer or something, but it costs like nine grand. You know, yeah, you'll never, I mean, you'll never, ever, I, I don't think it's future proof to like 20 years or something. But so far, so good. So my other, uh, the, the old case, when it came in, there was uh, one of these plates this metal plate on the back, it was above a rivet. You can't really quite see it here. I have to zoom in really far. Um, but there is a peg rivet that was up and the, the I don't know how I'm gonna visualize this with my hands. Um, there was a peg rivet that comes through the base and the, the back plate on it, right? So there's the back plate and the peg rivet. Well, the back plate happened to be on this top. So it was getting really warped all throughout and so I figured out I could pop it back in and everything got straightened out. That was my only issue with the other one when I received it. So now I kind of look around and make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. And it looks like it's really well built. There's a lot of room in here. There's a lot of room in here. I'm really surprised how much room there is. My other case um, barely had enough room for my, uh, my, 10, my 1070, GTX 1070. This is a lot more room. This is very spacious. I really hope that the same screws work. I don't know why they wouldn't.
We know they don't work. <laughs> ah, crap. They're a little too small. Yeah, they're a little too small. That sucks. But also, that's okay. I got two different kinds of screws here. Um, say that these big ones are not for your motherboard because they kind of take up a lot of room and a lot of real estate so to speak but I don't know maybe they are instructions They're for, um, the heck? Um, they're for hard drive, um, mounts, I guess, yeah, hard drives. 
Okay. I'm missing a bag. Ah, oh. here they are. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's power supply. I guess the quickest way to test them is to actually, you know, screw them in individually here. They're just so small and short. They're like bugs. Yeah, they're like little bugs. small.
dudes. I'm playing Minecraft Dungeon. It's on my Nintendo. Chapo says, Sup. Then, what's up? Ah, oh, here's the problem. There's a cord underneath. That's gonna screw things up, of course. It's not, it's just not deep enough. It's not going deep enough. And I don't think this is it e at all either. This doesn't seem like, maybe this is, I don't know. Oh, oh, I think it is it. Okay, we found it. We got it. Everything's under control. We got it, folks. Got him a uh, Minecraft uh, Dungeons yesterday. Um, it got like a seven out of ten, but I'm thinking like this is a game for kids, you know, and my kid loves it. So yeah, and it's actually hard. And it's actually hard. So I said thanks to my dad, because if it's hard, then your brain grows. There you go. You hear that? Wise words right there, right, Liam? Yep. Yes. There you go. What? It's hard for a Minecraft game, that's what Chapo said. And dude, seriously, I'm on the last boss stage. Wait, you're already on the last stage? Yeah. Oh. That's kind of a fast game. Probably why you got a 7 out of 10. Is good. He's amazing. I'm a pro. Yeah. He is a pro. I'm an expert that's, now. That's no lie. Yes, because I am actually an expert. If you don't believe me, then you're on the wrong you don't believe him, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> All right. Got that plugged in. It's kind of a short game, but some uh, island is, a new island is coming. It's not a finished game. Oh, there's DLC? That's cool, dude. Cool. Use the red one as uh, as my little guy here for OS, <laughs> and 
I think I put it in one or zero here. And then the rest will follow. USB. Sorry, Tiffany. What in the world? You just fell through the floor. HD audio. Wow, that is a really tight cable. Just like there is no give there almost. And then USB 3.0 right here. What? No! Okay, hard drive time. It's hard drive time. When you put bolts in your, um, when you bolt in your hard drives, how many screws do you use? I use two. Just one on each corner. I don't really, like, you're not securing an airplane, you know what I mean? The tiny, light hard drive ain't going nowhere. I mean, these SSDs, they're so light. They're, they're, to they're like five ounces, man. They're, you know. It's not like they're going to turn into a meteor or something. Yeah, I'm 
Bottom drive is the OS drive. Um, do I need any other mounting screws aside from the PSU? No, I do not. I think I have that one in the bag still. Everything else could get bagged up for now. I should sell these um, for like a quarter a piece on eBay. I have a corrupted beacon that could that could do a ton of damage. Oh, yeah. To a whole line of mon of bad guys. Oh, cool. That requires souls. Same with this. Yeah, these kind of look like they're the same one. shape. Yeah. I wonder if I might be able to use the one with the fan and put it on the back. Huh. Might be. Might be able to. That'd be kind of cool. Repurpose uh, the crap I already have. Oh, how about I actually like pick up two of you know these guys? Yeah, never mind. Forget about it. Doesn't fit. Won't fit. <laughs> Different sizes. <laughs> ah, jeez. I think that's is, it. I think that's. You know what? I think that's all. The only thing the I'm missing is the PSU. The best way to kill a redstone golem is with a bone arrow. I have everything plugged in. Just have to feed it through. Mm -hmm. I need the power supply, power mm -hmm. supply, mm -hmm. uh, graphics cards. Mm -hmm. And then we're, I think we're set. Yeah. Excited to have all this room. This is great. Oh, we forgot one connection. That's the power switch and all that. Okay, power switch. Um, like this.
Oh yeah, yeah, the PSU fans. So I got, I just have to plug him into the power. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I already have this other one plugged in to the board. Finally, the HDD LED, the hard drive. I have an extra USB 7 slot, so I guess if I wanted to get like a a front-mounted USB thing, I can. Um, but that's about that's about it. Tighten everything up over here. Kind of sucks because I have to, I have to plug this in. I have to plug this guy in just for one power connector, and that's it. Because that's the rest of it is that's it. That's that's all I got. That's uh, that's kind of sucks, but whatever. What are you gonna do, right? Oh well. All right, peripheral time. Now the decision. Do I put the 1080 or the 1070 on top or bottom? I don't know if it matters, to be honest. Um, we can go with the top. You can see on the bottom here um, that it's not a true ATX because I have three slots open, but I have a uh, two slots available. Come on. And it just does not reach down enough. And it also doesn't reach the edges here for true ATX. Which is fine, it's no big deal. This place is kind of invincible. This place is invincible? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, it can't really shoot you. Oh. Oh, no. He's that invincible? Yeah. Mm. 
I haven't even got to his boss yet. Maybe his one is... Maybe. Because I haven't got to this boss yet. So what does that mean? Well, I don't know. This is a hard boss. Say you'd say the bigger one on bottom. I already have it on the top. I'm just afraid that the wires. I don't know. I'll put it up top. We'll see how it goes. The other thing about this other board is, or the other case, is that the USB slots on top um, were kind of finicky. They weren't reacting very well. And I don't know if it was the cabling or the cable or, or what, but they were, they were not too happy with being where they were. Oh, crap. Where did I have this? I think it was around here. Traveling to do the menu. <laughs> Traveling to it. Yeah, I only have enough room for one more slot down here, but that's because of the big ATX guys taking up so much room. Or the big, uh, sorry, AGP slots. Not AGP, that's old school. Uh, PCIe slots. My mind is in three different spots right now. Sorry about that. I do have an AGP slot card. If you want to see it later. So this right here is one of the best AGP cards you can get. Right here. The HIS. This is 512 megabytes of blazing fast DDR3 uh, graphics processing, AGP slot only. Yep. Uh, I love you, Daddy. <sighs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> you don't have to say it loud like that. I think it's fine. Okay. I heard you the first time. Huh? I heard you. Oh. Maybe burn that. Maybe 
They seem to be the like the same size here. Um, so I guess it, it really didn't matter. Um, this one's hardly um, bigger than this one. Um, it's taller this way, or it's wider, I guess, but not length lengthwise, not by much. All right, boys, let's lock them in. Lock them in prison. Lock them in. Prison. Prison. Solid. Solid. Feel solid. PSU time. The lady wasn't reviving me. She was just sitting there. Sometimes you need to die. So, uh, Chato, have you played Code Vein? Or Ash? Or Ashen? Persona 5 Royal. Or Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> I'm on Cheeto. In Persona 5 Royal. What did he say? Nothing yet. If he's watching, I don't even know if he's watching anymore. Are you watching? Okay, big boy. You stopped on P5? Yeah. So he's played uh, Persona 5. So you have not played Ashen? Or Code Vein? He played, played the regular Persona 5? I think he played the regular Persona 5, yeah. Have you gotten to Shido on Persona 5? I think he's beaten Persona 5. Did you beat Persona 5? Hear him? Mm -hmm. I can't hear him. I 
see what he's typing. Oh, he's never beaten it. I thought he did beat it. Um. Um. Where are you at? What? I'm all the way to the second last boss, Shigido. Man, that stinks. Maybe you'll get to where I am someday. You got tired of the anime? I think he did. Mm. He says he don't think he doesn't think he will. Yeah, it's not for, it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's not for everyone, right? I see what you mean, yeah, so you get a new character after every event, yeah. Sa it was the same with Persona 5, or 4, sorry. Every every new character was introduced through new events, you know, or whatever, new murders and all that stuff, all that jazz. It was slightly annoying. Agree to that. Sorry to hear what that you think you never will be. You didn't like how they saved the... The words? You didn't like the words? You didn't like that each of the, they saved, um, they got saved each time or, or something, or each of them saved them. Personas for the story. Oh yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. I like the yeah. I like the personas for the story. I think the stories are good. I haven't played the third one enough. I haven't played the third one all the way through. Um, but it seems like you get like new. All the characters are kind of there at the beginning in the third one. Um, but the exploration kind of stinks because it's the same, like, 
it's just the, the maze is uh, not, it's not a maze, but it's like a random level each time. So it's just inconsistent a little bit that way. Uh, I think I'm done with this side. Let's flip her over. Um, I did notice that I did not get a fan. Um, oh, it's right down here. Controller. Oh. Oh, it must be, that must be the power. Okay, hold on. I kind of, I don't know if I want to connect the top one to the, the motherboard or not. What do you think? Should I connect the top one to the motherboard? Or have it controlled manually. I, I don't know if I want to dig in and reach in there and just tap things unless I really need to. I don't know. Maybe I should. manual control the fans that much with my other one either. Um, and I kind of like the automatic stuff. I'll have this one under manual, manual control. I'll, I'll do this one completely automatic. You're probably like, why'd you ask me, man? Why'd you even ask? wrapped up. Okay, so that's, uh, that's great. This is a porthole, but it's not. We'll have to go to manual. Because I can't reach um, the connection to, um, I can't reach the connection otherwise.
is our OS drive, which is on the bottom. And the rest are orange. Power. Oh man, maybe I should have propped it up more. Oh well. Um, what I didn't show you was that I have an M2 uh, SSD on my. Uh, on my motherboard as well. Jeez, that's going to get annoying. <laughs> um, but I have an M.2 um, I think I have a gig or maybe not a gig. Oh, jeez. A terabyte? Um, possibly two, but I think it's just the one. I'll have to look at it again, but I think it's just one terabyte. This thing is really sweet. I like it a lot already. Docking. I think that's it. I think the. I think all that's needed is. Um, I got all this. Here's my cooling for the other side. That's great. Everything's plugged in. Ah! Bless you. My sweet child. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Little ho. By the way, it's on carpet. What is? That? The... What is? The thing you're holding. Yeah, it's okay. Why? Well, because I'm going to put it on the tiles. I'm going to tuck it away on the tiles. Yeah, I don't know. I think he said little ho. I don't know if he said that. So yeah. Call me a little ho. <laughs> I don't know why. But he did it. Whoa. Some dude did an ace patrol on me. He smashed me. With his giant lipstick. Gold in your nose. What? Gold in your nose. Okay, that's it. We're wrapped up. Um, it's only us that can't spin. Yeah, yeah, he's watching. I think it's uh, time to plug it all in and see if it works. Right? Right. <laughs> Goal of your nose. I, I don't know what he's talking about. some beast behind you.
no one's gonna kill you at the end. They're not going to. So should I power this thing up first and then, um... Is this on auto? I don't know if it's on auto. There we go. Um, should I plug this in first and um, uh, and then plug in all the peripherals or what? What do you think? At least the I should probably the display port so we know what we're looking at, right? Ah, oh, power, power, power. All right, let's do it. So it's not really made for flash, you know, because it's just going underneath this thing here. So, you know. If it needs to be flashy. I'll plug in all the important stuff. How about that? Vagrant's rest. Man thinks that your dude is, has left. What? Who's that you? Oh, silly me! So he's, um, he's singing actually a Persona 5 theme song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which one? You were think you were singing the, uh, See if I can pull it up. Do you know what this song is called, though? Winds of 
Wims. Wims? Uh What are you doing? Making a dance club. All right, are we all ready or what? How about rivers in the desert? I gotta, I gotta turn this bad boy on first. Nothing. No. I love putting stuff together and then it not working. Like I got everything on there, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I got the back switch off. I don't know. Let's see. Why do you like when it's not working? Yeah, how about that? I had the switch off. Yeah. I forgot I was upside down. It's the other way. Um, I've had it. I've had the PSU upside down um, this whole time, and now I switched it fan side down. Switches. All right. Here we go. Beautiful. Get that fan girl going. And it is so quiet. I can't even hear it. All right. So we gotta. We got a first things first. We got this little error up here. So the error. Has, um, Why do you like it when it's not working? 
after you, Bill? No, no I was being sarcastic, Liam. Let's go on to the boot properties, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. So it's the Samsung that we're booting off of. Let's yeah. see if. I think that could be. Or maybe it's this one. I don't think it's this one. That's the Hitachi Intel SSD. I think it's this one. After um, the wings of fate, um, could we do um, rivers and Sometimes switching them up um, can help. Real form. Show me your true form, everyone. Please, I just want to see your true form. This is my true form. I'm already my true form. Oh, I don't have it in SATA 1. I thought I did. Not that I'm being a little baby in the desert. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we got to open this thing back up just real quick so we can see what's going on. What? Sorry about that, Daddy. It was actually a little bit funny.
start crunching down here. Okay, that's the state of three. Yeah, I accidentally plugged in the hot swap into the um, the zero slot, and accidentally, I mean, um, probably on purpose. box for the party to happen? <laughs> All right. I need to go get my phone. All right. I'm going to be pretty honest with you. This is my favorite part. crappiest part, but also my favorite, is getting all these in there while everything's already plugged in. Oh, this is the party, huh?
you hear that good chat Anyone up? Uh, yeah, he's still watching. Yeah, he said yes. He said he is it. He likes the second version of the castle song. I like it too. He likes that one the best. I think, are you talking about uh, rivers in the desert or the castle level? Castle level, Liam. What? He likes the second version of the castle level. All right. Do you like that, Chazzo? He says it's good. This one is okay. too fast, man. Why did you switch songs so fast? You didn't even get to hear the other ones a lot. No. 
you're switching too fast, man. You would be a terrible DJ at uh, at a concert. You only gave it like 30 seconds. Can you go back to the other one? No, not this one? Hold on, hold on. Best DJ ever. I don't know, man. Turn the beat back? What does that mean? Turn the beat back on. Uh, are you talking about the next song? Is that what you want? Sweat Talk? That is the one after this one. Talking about this one, yeah. Dude, dude. <laughs> Cat Trojan. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, it's a thing. that one? Alright. I thought you said after art, dude. Uh, I don't know what you want, bro. <laughs> See, I told you, man. After what? I'm probably the worst dude ever. Castle song, phase two, please. So I'm not really sure why it's not booting up. It should be coming from the SATA Zero. That's what I have plugged in. I have all my three hard drives here. We're all good. Um... Alright. The SATA 3-3 is a hot swap. The SATA 4 and 5 are not plugged in because um, we got the force M.2 on it. can even go to this. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so it's the Samsung 250. It's plugged into the right one. Hitachi. Oh, God. Hmm. Theta 3 is empty for now, but that's not true. Mm. Ah. Ah. I can't really remember the name. You don't remember the name of it? Come How on. it's spelled. Just go to Castle, Phase 2. Uh, that's not, that's not the name, though. It doesn't matter. 5, Castle, Phase 2.
Marie, is that what it's called? Uh, that's the first one. Okay, well, we're getting closer. Another version. I think this is gonna. Yeah. All right, speech over.